CNC Masters End User Support Video Finding the Edge of Stock and Running a Simple Program What is an Edge Finder? As you can see, an Edge Finder is a simple device consisting of a top and a bottom. After mounting the tool in the correct collet and mounting inside the spindle quill, it requires a spindle to be turned on and a visual inspection of alignment to be performed. Although this is a perfectly acceptable method and the CNC Master Systems can use it, time and accuracy can be lost when the tool is removed and the actual cutter to be used is installed. This process, unfortunately, is for many different machines the only way to find the edge. Most do not have any true manual input capabilities, unlike the CNC Master System. We would prefer to start off with the actual cutter to be used and touch off using a feeler gauge, resulting in no wasted time. After starting the master software, do a reset control, port on, position the cutter close but without touching the stock on the X axes. Now disable motors. And using a feeler gauge, hand crank the table in the X direction until the gauge just feels snug. And press the 0x button. Now repeat the reset control, port on. Now, the x-axis digital readout should read zero. Using the master software, jog the y-axis in the negative direction. And then the x to an appropriate location as shown. Repeat the process for the y-axis. Press reset control, port on, and zero y. Again, using the master software, jog the cutter to an appropriate location on the top of stock. Now, touch off the tip of cutter in the Z direction using a feeler gauge. Now press reset control, port on, and press the 0Z button. And then press return to 00. The cutter should travel to the corner of the stock. The last thing to do is to compensate for the radius of the cutter. To do this, you will use the relative feature. Throughout this exercise, we have used a half inch cutter. So the radius of this cutter should be 250 thousandths. We now need to remove the radius amount from the cutter's physical position in the X and Y. Start by clicking the relative off button. Four boxes will appear. Then, starting with the X field, enter the radius amount as a positive number. Although both the X positive or negative options are available, for this demonstration, press the X positive button. Do the same for the Y. Repress the relative off button. Then, Press the zero all button. You are now at zero zero and ready to start your first program. To open and run your first program, click file, open, locate the file and double click on it. To view the expected output, click draw. To close, press the button within that window. Now press Reset Control, Port On, make sure all the axes values are zero, and then go. This concludes our customer training video. Thank you for watching.